How's it going and welcome back to the Carolina Model Shop and we're going to do an update video on the 1970 302 Boss um, kit I'm working on. It's the monogram kit from 1991. I had to remember there real quick. And I want to show you where I'm at and what I'm doing. And I know I said in my original video that I was going to probably paint that um, a yellow color from Duplicolor or something like that, but I lied. So I wanted to um, continue working on my airbrushing. So I'm using an airbrush, and I went. I got me a new airbrush, a Pache H, and I like it. Um, I always have used up until then one in Badger, like the the cheap Badger. Uh, 250 and 350 you know this the regular single action brush and I like those I mean they did always did a fine job once you get them you know how to use them and what they're going to do and the Pache acts similar to them I just think so is but it's a lot better of a, of a gun it just I, I just liked it better um, but and I'm also using a paint that I've never used before in a gun that I've never used before and what I did was I used the Createx this Createx right here and it's a pearlized pineapple is what they call it pearl pineapple okay and then I put the Forty thirty balance and clear in it, and I put the forty twelve reducer, and I just played around with it until I got a consistency. Actually, I I watched a video on YouTube from a couple people that uses that paint, and I kind of seen what they put in there, and I tried to get it close, and then I tried to get it close to their consistency, and then I did some test sprays on. Um, on some paper and, and you know it looked pretty good I found out one thing I need to I had to open the gun up turn the air pressure down from where I will try to go near the recommendation and I had to tear turn it down not quite as low as I do my craft acrylics but not as high as they said either and I had to open the tip up on the gun and I got a I think I got a good spray now this first Mustang this one here was my test car because I never sprayed this paint before and I just tested a bunch of different things different um, tip settings you know uh, close it down open it up and got it to where I w wanted it and I mixed the paint up for the whole thing so I done this and then I shot the other one right after it um, so you can see now this is not the paint the way the paint looks um, and this body, I did no prep to. There's no prep done to this body. I didn't sand it. I didn't do anything. I just pulled it out of my stash drawer, my parts drawer. And I didn't primer it. Didn't even, I didn't even wash it. <laughs> so, and I just sprayed the color on it. And you see the gloss on it. That's not from the paint. I'm going to get to that. And um, you can see on here where I got some runs and stuff because that's where I was messing with tips and distances and, and the air pressure was high and so it was blowing the paint. But um, this side the same way. Um, it's not as bad because I said the other side the side is first but then I got it just where I thought it was good. So then I sprayed the roof. And it's not too bad. I mean, you got to remember, you got to, one thing I had to realize on the spraying, the tip needs to be open and you need a good overlap on this pearl because if not, you start getting striping. I guess candy's the same way. Never shot candy, but I'm going to. Now, I don't know if you can hear my dogs wrestling in the other room. They think they're in the WWE. So, and what I did was, once I spray painted this car, I only let it dry about an hour. 
because I wanted to see what kind of um, what kind of reactions it would have to the clear that I like using. So you can see that I sprayed that clear. That's just two coats of clear on there. Uh, no buffing, no polishing, nothing like that. Just two coats of clear sprayed on it. And the clear I like using is this Duplicolor. Well, this is engine gloss clear, which is good. This is a good clear, but the one that I, I got the wrong can. <laughs> but the one I, I get looks just like this, but it's an acrylic enamel crystal clear. And that's what's on this right here. And so, you know, it's only got two coats on it. It's got a one coat on a mist coat on it, and then I let it about 15 minutes, and then I sprayed a heavier coat on it, and that's it. I probably, if I was doing this model, I would go ahead and probably put another coat on it. But, yeah, it's so it's not looking bad. And so I sprayed the regular car, and I'm going to show you, too. It has no clear on it. It's just the paint. So here's the car sprayed. Probably needs to be wet sanded and, you know, but... um. The paint come out pretty good um, it's got a couple spots in it I'm gonna show you one here in a second so so that's that on that on the roof you can't even see it in the camera well what I had on the roof was I didn't have my gun tip open enough and I had some striping but I put a couple more coats the opposite direction across them, and then once it dried, I can see it barely to my eye, but you can't really see it on There's a couple pieces of trash that's landed on it since it was painted, but that's no problem. So, so yeah, so that I think that that's pretty decent. It's my first time ever shooting that paint, so and I'm not haven't done a lot of airbrush paint jobs so looks pretty good I'm happy with that I'm this is somewhere I can you know and, it, and you know and so the first time I ever shot this paint I, and I shoot a pearl I didn't even just shoot a regular opaque color I had to go right to the pearl but um yeah so I think it's gonna work out pretty good that body was primed and sanded and prepped um, I it's a white primer in there and it's actually the white um, dupa color uh, primer so yeah so I think it looks pretty decent um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so I'm gonna let that dry for a while I'm not gonna shoot the clear on it right now I'm gonna let it dry probably till tomorrow then probably clear it put one two coats of clear on it then I'll be able to do some my detail stuff to it wet sand it and then put the final clear on it because I like to put a couple coats of clear on it then I'll go in and do my detail around my windows my door handle stuff like that then I'll put another coat of, or, uh, coat of clear on that probably do my handles my window my windows do my handles and lettering and all that and go ahead and do the stripes I painted the hood and the front the rear valance and the front valance all at the same time um, I just didn't bring it to show you because, I mean, it looks like this. So, I know everybody, I didn't just want to paint it a regular old yellow. It's not a bad looking paint job. And in the sun, it has some good um, some good metal flake in it. It's kind of like pearlized. I don't know what you call it. If I, had, if I could find, if I didn't have such a mess over here on this table, I could probably find my flashlight and show you but I can't because I got a mess all right well I'm sure my, a lot of people have a mess I understand how you guys that keep your you should do a video and your stuff's all clean everything's in its own spot it's nice and I don't I, I can't even keep it that way when I'm not working on models so yeah but so that's that looks pretty good I, I can go with that for the for the clear and if it would have been wet sanded and all that, it would even have been better. But I don't really see the paint. The, this paint flows good. I like the way it flows. And it being a water-based paint, it's going to have a little better flow. 
I don't really see any orange peel in it or any, anything any, like that. I don't got any flow indicators, which are known as runs. Um, yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm happy with that the way that came out. It's nice and flat, smooth. It's even. It's all uniform color. I'm not even gonna mess with it no more. I'm just gonna leave it like that. But another thing I wanted to show you, I'm working on the motor. Uh, the I, you know I did a video saying that these parts had good um you know there's not a lot of flash and stuff like that, but there is quite a bit of seam work. Um, about got the seam finished on the bottom. Don't worry about the top too much because you can't really see it when it's in the car. Just the front and the bottom. So I've been working on, that's the, the motor, that part gets painted all together except for transmission. I got to paint separately, but then you can see I got to, I got that sanded down, got that seam straightened out, I believe. Um, first time I primed it, I wanted to prime it so I could see where I was at. It had a big divot right there for, in the casting. So, I think I got probably got a little bit of sand, and I can feel a little bit right there. So, yeah, but I got most of the seam out of it. You can see the seam's gone in the front of the motor, in the front of the oil pan. I hate these um, halves with the oil pan molded into the thing. Um, just creates more work, but I guess that's what it's called, modeling. And that's what you do. So, that's about where I'm at on this model. Um, just working on... On getting that stuff done and a lot of people build their model and paint it for I, love, I like painting I just I love to paint I don't know why I just do so usually the first thing I do when I start on models, is I get the body and everything painted and ready that's just the way I like to do it I like painting better than I like building it so maybe I can find somebody that wants some cars painted and I'll just do the painting and they can do the putting together but anyway, until the next time, this is Carolina Model Shop, and I'm out of here.